Hey guys, Sly Fox TV here, and today we are going to be going over lighting for your videos. Basically, what we are going to do is I'm going to be going over a few lighting setups that are more or less common, so you can figure out how to begin on your way to make better videos with better lighting. Because lighting can change everything. It could even change the mood and how people see and feel your film or whatever you're making to be exact if you have terrible lighting no one's gonna watch it it's just gonna be trash just like bad audio as long as you have at least decent lighting it'll be good and especially if you have the lighting for the right mood that will make it even better so let's get started All right, now as you can see under my eye, you can see a little upside down triangle. And what that type of lighting is, that is called Rembrandt lighting. Named after the famous artist Rembrandt who used this particular lighting setup for pretty much all his paintings, at least that I know of. And um, it's actually a very popular lighting setup that is used in pretty much every movie, show, probably even a couple video games, probably Call of Duty. <laughs> I played that a lot. But um, anyways, you can see it in like Star Wars Rebels, Pirates of the Caribbean, just to name a few. You can see all that. Um, it's very popular and it's really good um, for dramatic lighting, which is perfect for stuff like Pirates of the Caribbean, Call of Duty, and, you know, Star Wars. So, yeah, it is also one of my favorite lightings, by the way. So, let's move on to the next one before I talk too long about this one. Alright, in this one, you can tell there's a silhouette around my face it wraps around a little bit where you can see at least somewhat half of my face this is known as a silhouette and basically you mainly shine at most of the back but i decided to get a little bit of the face as you can see right here this is this lighting setup is perfect for dramatic interviews and um just a good dramatic scene in a movie and all kinds of stuff like that so let's move on to the next one. This one was kind of short. Alright, on this one, I took this one off Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the front of the game case. This is a very iconic um, image for um, Call of Duty Black Ops which 2, which is one of, in my mind, the best... Uh, one of the best Call of Duty games, but not to get into all of that, but um, you can see it makes for a really good dramatic lighting setup, and I did a little bit of lighting on the side, so it's not completely accurate. I wasn't able to get much light on the side, on the other side of his face, but um, yeah, this one is kind of cool, I think, because of how it looks is perfect. So it's perfect for um, dramatic lighting when you light a little bit, at least half of the side, which I'll get on to the next one, which is called half lighting. Alright, this lighting setup is known as split lighting. You can tell on my face that there is a split of part dark, part light, at least sort of. It's not perfectly even but it's kind of like, imagine like Two-Face, the Batman villain. There's a split in between the face, which gives it a really cool dramatic look. And there are many kind of ways to do this. You can show more of the face or less of the face. It depends exactly on exactly how you want to do it, but it does give a really good dramatic look to something, which makes it look really good and it's perfect for dramatic scenes. So let's move on to the final one. Alright, now for the final one. This one is known as flat lighting. Now, this one is perfect for more of happier, more of carefree, you know, comedic kind of lighting. It's not really meant to be dramatic or anything, more of kind of like brighter, you know, happier, or sometimes comedic, it kind of depends, but it's more of for more of a joyous, you know, kind of lighting setup. 
where it's basically just mainly shows most of the face, which is also kind of more of what they kind of do for beauty lighting as well, which is more of a flat lighting. They don't try to create many shadows in um, this lighting setup. It's more of, you know, flat. You pretty much see most of the face and not much of anything is really shadowed. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the last lighting setup, so. All right, hopefully this video was very useful to y'all and that y'all could kind of get somewhat of an idea of the different lighting and some of them which are really popular lighting setups get to see why they're used so often and why they're such good lighting setups you don't have to use you know rembrandt lighting for every single light lighting setup you don't have to use this lighting or that lighting for every single setup it varies depending on what kind of what you're trying to do is it more of a darker you know call of duty like film like or are you trying to go for a more happier, com comedic kind of film? It really just depends. And it's not just short films and stuff like that. It can just be for your um, gaming lighting. For if you are a gamer and you have a webcam. If you can get some really cool lighting, that could look really good. And probably make your gaming channel get even more views. If you have better lighting, if you have terrible lighting just for any kind of video, it's just gonna, no one's gonna watch it, just like bad audio. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped y'all out. So, please like, subscribe, God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!